Okay. 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 Event of code. Um, day one of 2022 was too simple, so I decided to go 2018. Because I have unsold uh, years here, as you can see. Uh, so let's try this one. I don't remember what it was all about, so yeah. Area you are in is main tag of rooms and doors. The rooms are arranged in a grid, and rooms are connected with the rooms. The door is presented as an example. Your room is dot, walls as flash, doors as blah blah. The current position is X, and when north is up, your area might look like this. You get the attention of passing construction elf and ask for a map. I don't have time to draw out a map of this place, it's huge. Instead, I can give you directions to every room in the facility. He writes down some directions on a piece of uh, punishment and runs off. In the example above, such actions might have been over you and in door, regular expression, or regex your puzzle input. Okay, the regex match throws like W and E that will take you from your current room through various doors in the facility. In aggregate, the roads, routes will take you through every door in the facility at least once. Mapping out all of these routes will let you build a proper map and find your way around. Uh, to gain the regex, this just means that the regex is much easier inside the regex. So, secretly, much stronger than the regex will not appear as well in the regex. The rest of the regex matches various sequences of characters and south, east, and west. In the example, okay, so we're all interpreting regex, regex, okay, cool. Uh, matches on the one root W and E, which means you can move west, north, and east from your current position. Sequences of letters like this always match the current in the same order. Sometimes the root can branch. Okay, so it is the day 10. Um, I just want to see how much time I would expect around an hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, consider this regex. Uh, this regex begins with a, which means that on your current position, the roads must begin by moving east, north, and the west three times in that order. After this, there is a branch, and before you consider the branch, this is what you know about them. So far, with doors, you aren't sure about the map. It's a question. At this point, there is a village with two options. And the E, this uh, so is before the E, the map now looks like this. Now, only this is E remains because this is the same branch as the E. Okay, so whatever. Um, okay, okay. Input. Okay, so they don't have uh, like stars or pluses, right? Uh, this is 2018. Uh, let's save this. Okay, and they also have sample, right? So, yeah, they have multiple samples actually. So, we start with, with this. And 
we expect also have this no probably I don't want parts in here that's, that's what I decided um, I do want Okay, sample two will create this thing. Also have this. Right. Okay, so three, ten, eighteen. question yet okay I guess since uh, you'd like to determine which room is furthest from you specifically you would like to find the room for which the shortest path to that room would require passing through the most doors okay what is the largest number of doors you would require to pass through to which room that is so basically we we built this traverse tree Right. Um, then we, uh, so yeah, the question basically is: Do we need the map of, play, of the place or not? Uh, which means, like, may does like the path that is asked in the question. Uh, is this path in this regex, right? Or not? The only thing we know is that like regex blocks every room, every possible room. Um, Yeah, so uh, I probably need to parse regex first. coordinates we want the minimum pass length so yeah it's probably the, uh, the way we should approach it I'm not sure about visualization but yeah um, yeah this is also the 18 actually the 18 um, pam, 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 pam. Uh, parsing reg, reg right Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking if I can use a reader or something for that, actually. Maybe I should. But we already have closure, right? <laughs> um, 
So what if I replace, uh, for example, first of all, yeah, 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 no parse here. First of all, what if I say sample five, right? Uh, what if I do replace this with this? I get in read string. Yeah, no. Hmm. What if I um, wrap it in parentheses, right? So basically, Oh yeah, that's something, right? That's something, that's something. Um, so now we read this as symbols. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, so we will just parse, I guess. Uh, this becomes data. not correct, right? Yeah, we did something wrong. Because there, there is like sequential se sequences and then the branches. And we don't distinguish between those. Maybe we should write real parser. <laughs> um, I'll try it real parser, why, why, why not? Um, so basically we need uh, something like uh, parse data as its sequence, sequence will be uh, Okay, um, how do we do this? So, uh, 
We, we, we can all, like right now, we can encounter this. So basically we need uh, like to eat up the rest of the string somehow, right? Um, like we need to return it kind of fish. Uh, hard. So basically what I'm thinking is something like Record on like parse new empty sequence, right? Next data. Um, so basically, so rest. data like we return to those right and what we do is we record conch arc parsed and then uh, rest right so in this case this would be just return uh, arc data Oh, basically next because we this. And now we just need to decide what to do with this thing. Um, what should we do with this thing? It's interesting, right? Maybe I am not. Ah. Representing branches, right? So my idea was that it is a sequence. <laughs> so basically the two levels of nesting. Yeah, it's like it looks like we go like what not what I want, what do I want from from this? I want something like WS ES, right? And then like what S E and then like Yeah, this is like somehow <laughs> very hard to interpret, kind of. Or not, or not. Who knows, right? 
So we can actually get this from this parser by just okay. uh, let's see. Um, so sample file wrap everything in those right. Replace uh, open bracket with this. Replace closing bracket with this. And we do uh, pipe is like this. Okay. Um, then we replace basically. North, south, west, east, with um, do, uh, dollar one space. Nah. Backslash one. Oh, because I need this. Yeah. yeah, okay, so like this. And then we basically do in read string, right? And we get this. Um, and we probably want this as keywords. So. And probably lowercase, but lowercase we can do lowercase in here. Okay. And basically like this. Okay, we parsed it. <laughs> so the way we interpret it is. First bracket is sequence uh, here, right? Then it's branch, then sequence again. And branch, then sequence. So this is it swaps between branches and sequences. I'm not sure if we should add some tags or something. Maybe not, maybe, maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. Um, okay, but this is our parser, anyway, right? Uh, I kind of like it. I think. Okay, parser. Uh, cool. What's next? Next, we need to start walking this tree, right? And we need to start measuring rooms, room coordinates, basically. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is write a function called walk. Alright, uh, let's call write a function called walk. Uh, we will have a map. Um, we will have a step. And we will have Path, right? Um, I 
and basically what we are going uh, and we also need uh, going to pause the composition composition pause just like this okay um, and let me dear first us okay and so it could be a keyword or it could be a vector right um, if keyword direction um, I'll do it so basically like yeah this is a problem that maybe we will run out of Text space, I don't know. Yeah, it's a possibility, but yeah. If it's a keyword, um, uh, keys, but basically, it's either W. Okay, now our southwest is right. Um, what we're going to do is obviously oh, this is. Uh, X, Y, we're going north, so we basically um, merge with um, mean, right? Okay, uh, yeah, we need a swap. Uh, map uh, was... okay we need a uh, step function <laughs> uh, it's gonna take map uh, current position delta position uh, step kind of right um, in this case let x, y, uh, plus x, dx, plus y, dy, um, merge with mean, uh, so, uh, 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 swap, map, Y, 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 right, um, percent, right, kind of like this, okay, so basically uh, what that means and we, that we step to this coordinate, uh, we will need step plus one steps to get there with this pass. Um, if it's smaller, we keep smaller one. If it's bigger, we keep smaller one. I know if, yeah, so bigger, we keep smaller one. If it's smaller, we take smaller one. Um, so basically, do step for map x, y, zero minus one step okay so it's double uh, walk, let's call it walk one uh, and recur map oh basically what we want to return probably is new card right so let's do this uh recur our map right and then new coordinate which will be this then increment step and next pass okay. so this is what we do so south is plus one uh, west is minus one here and east is plus one here right uh-huh and 
the final is like it's a vector so we, we, we hit options right and what we want here is huh. it's interesting actually what we want here um, because oh well, no it's not that interesting it's just pretty trivial okay so yeah um, what we want here is do seek branch for beer right so because it's uh, we want to walk with map x y with being the same coordinate still um, and what we want to do is concat actually branch and next pass so if we have uh, options we take the first option and the rest is a pass try to walk like that if it doesn't work we try another one and uh, basically uh, what we get out of it is this uh, star mark right okay so uh, let's see uh, we want to walk let's call map uh, probably zero 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 right uh, walk map I don't probably need that but yeah it's good to have that um, zero 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 um, and Okay, uh, let's see. Simple one. Oh, yeah, we, we, uh, mm -hmm. let's print map. Just like, let's just see. No. What's in the map? In this case, right? I don't really like this measure. Yeah, yeah, persistent array work for map. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. This has to be atom. This actually could be volatile. Volatile for slightly better performance. Okay, so zero requires zero minus one okay let's let's, let's compare one two three right and the first example should return exactly three right They're not off by one yeah let's go second example okay didn't work so second example is different because it has branches right mm -hmm. and probably Okay, uh, and must return ten, which is probable. Yeah, and uh, three, four, five. Okay, let's see. Um, what we want is reduce max walls. Twenty-three, thirty-one. Is it correct? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we get this working. So either we get stack overflow or we get very slow performance out of it, or we get that. Like three possibilities. And I think it's a good sign that we still don't have stack overflow. Yes, there must be some elimination step as well, somewhere.
like if you've already been to this room hmm. and the number of steps is already bigger maybe we shouldn't continue down this path Um, you know what? No, it sounds strange. No. I was thinking maybe like after finishing branching we should uh, merge the, this, but we can't, right? Because in one pass you can basically go up three another part pass you stay and then in both you walk like right to the right um and again like if you get to the same room with the same with bigger number of steps theoretically we can get to some other room that was not reachable. Okay, ah, uh, yeah, now. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is clearly not working, right? Um, I think I have beans. So we have control C to cancel execution and I also have control C to interrupt while well, yeah. <laughs> okay. I probably shouldn't do this. Uh, I should do this interrupt while. Well. Um, right, so like uh, I do this and I do control C and I interrupt. Uh huh. We don't see any warnings. Name. I'm just, yeah, we have warnings, so let's do that. Yeah, well, now we need to, to be smart, unfortunately. We did the stupid thing, now we need smart thing somehow, right? Um, so we need to eliminate branches somehow. Maybe we need visualization. I bet it would be fun to visualize. Yes. And we might get some ideas, maybe. Well, let's try visualization. This it will be fun. It's probably not competitive trying to do stuff like that, but uh, who cares? 
Okay, so um, I probably need some. Uh, some canvas, right? So probably here we are going to do canvas uh, with on paint. Um, this um yeah okay so this is our on paint on paint okay this is our application right so we kind of move it in here actually I don't know, uh, it doesn't really matter where, right? As long as we know what they are rendering. Okay, so we don't probably, we, we need field text, we don't need this, we need scale, I don't know. I don't know, with height of size, yeah, we definitely need that. That canvas, maybe, I don't know. Okay, so, uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's remove this. No such name space GUI. Yes, we unlock this. Okay, so we get this. Okay, uh, something is not right, so. Okay, so we get this. Okay, now, um, on paint, right? So on paint is going to well, we probably want to bind map in here somewhere. Um, so it's gonna be something like this. So then we, we remove this star map from everywhere. Okay. Um, we keep reset here. Like this. Then what we want to have is add watch. Add watch. It's add watch. Okay. Uh, map redraw. Uh, a fan bam 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 uh, window request uh, we have this redraw which is not actually redraw it's a request frame okay uh, we swap becomes uh, swap uh, so each time map is changed we request a frame okay and now we just need to draw the map. Okay, so uh, uh, we need to figure out the sizes basically. And okay, so mean x is key. Okay, so. Mm, ah, map. Okay, M is going to be map, right? Uh, mean X is going to be keys map uh, map first reduce mean. Okay. Same um, max X. Okay, so this is uh, these are limits of of our map. Um, okay. Now what we do? What we do is yes. What we do? Yes, we divide basically canvas with height. Um, 
four. Well, basically size is going to be minimum between divide with by min x max x min x right between this and height uh, so this is the size of one square okay and now we go to seek um, Okay, so we want probably print is going to be print fill. Okay, this is our background for like squares, okay. This print uh, x y v v in map right so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah we basically say rect. is going to be core no 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 core is going to be core from here okay um, core rect so um, x y so basically minus X mean X times size, right? Minus Y minus Y times size minus size scale. So this is one pixel. Uh, this is our rect and canvas draw rect rect canvas rect okay so basically this is what we we'll do uh let's corner space yes i know okay um computer stop computer run okay Okay, now it's red because we have seek from a map or the mean. Yeah, because it's something different. It's not a map or what? Yeah. Uh, Divide by zero. <laughs> yeah, because this is so they might be equal, right? Like yeah, I guess we need Yeah, okay, so this is one big square, yeah. Uh, now, if we run the algorithm in here somewhere, it's this many squares. Okay, so this is kind of map. Okay, uh, now what we want is 
Oh, this is tiny. This is actually quite tiny. Uh, how do I... <laughs> how do I represent paths? Right? Okay, so maybe... Um, I have learned somewhere. I have it in color, I believe, right? Color make work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, hmm. um, let's do. Okay. Um, mean V is Wells M. Reduce mean, right? And max win is max win. Okay. So basically, color. Um, rate, okay, rate is gonna be minus uh, divide minus v mean v. to be sure um, yeah, yeah here it should be need mean uh, one yeah, so this is our rate so color is gonna be color make layer c1 c2 weight okay uh, so C1 is gonna be 0x ff like ff0000 and like this, okay? Uh, basically what we want is set color bring color like this. zero somehow because this has to be max and now we have integer overflow okay um um okay um go around sample five so uh, which one is small <laughs> okay let's run sim sample one so the green is small red is very far away right okay and this is what happens with this We found some very, very far away regions. Um, but not everything is yet covered. Not many updates either. It be also interesting to draw doors. So basically, as I understand, somewhere in here, this is like has a wall, right? So we can't walk to the left here. That's why it's all red. And like optimization wise, uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, I seem to be stuck for some reason. It's a beautiful visualization though. some movement happened hey but um so okay so depending on how many doors are here right theoretically there might be like very very tricky paths that like spiraling that that would be very lengthy i think right in theory, it could be, it could be. How am I looking at OBS? Okay. Now there is no point waiting for this to finish, obviously, but... What can we do? What can we do? Okay, one idea that I have is that we stop progress if so for example, oh, we can use threads, of course. <laughs> You can use all, all 10 threads, actually. Uh, that should be okay, because we like multi-thread it. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. But uh, yeah, so let's try this idea. So... Um, v is... Get x, y, right? Or get map x, y, or uh, long max value. It's max value, right? Yeah, it's max value. Okay, so if If, 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 ink step is smaller than me, we swap. Well, basically, why? Here is something like this, right? Okay, so south is plus one, uh, west is minus one zero, and east is plus one zero. Okay. Um, let's run it. Uh, let's wow everything. Okay. It's probably. Yeah. It has to be this. So 
Um, I'm not sure in the correctness of this answer. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Um, let's do this. Um, so basically, walls, right? We take walls, uh, we filter. That's right, that's right. Okay, uh, very, very weird, but I'm glad it worked. I like the visualization as well, like it's pretty nice, it's an interesting structure. Um, yeah, you can see there is probably some sections of it. It, it actually depends on the structure of regex, because with this input, right, with this task, I can imagine an input that would not play nice with with opportunity. Because basically right now what we are doing is we if we've been in this room uh, but faster before, we just don't go, right? But theoretically this is wrong because you can have probably like a path like this and another path that crosses it in one room, right? Uh, but like no other path like explores this room, this room. So it's it's certainly incorrect, but uh, seems to work here. Um, so I guess I guess we should take all the girls, right? Do we need to clean something up? Or do not? Maybe this. But uh, maybe this as well. But I'm glad we have this. You know what? I also missing cont plus, and I think I can find it in my Twitter. So we are adjusting par sample. Do I have one plus here? But well, this is not, not remotely interesting. So we don't need this core, right? For now. Okay, um, tests maybe, multiple samples maybe, let's call it sample one, because they tend to be several samples, okay, um, yeah.
Yeah, but probably what I'm missing is... Well, that's okay-ish. Yeah, that's okay. -ish. Okay, let's commit and blast. Okay, stage, stage, stage. Yeah, 2015. Hey, how long was it? Do we have time somewhere here? An hour. Well, it's about like an average time to do this. One, two, three, four, five. So five more tasks. Five more hard tasks. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, if you're watching it and want to go to my private leaderboard, this is the code. Um, but the bottom of it, obviously, because I'm um, one of the last to, to address the task. Maybe tomorrow I will be... Earlier? Was it? Okay, anyways, uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. See you next time.